Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? This your boy JB, Trap House Boxing, back again with another video. Hey, real quick, I uh, just want to talk about this Mikey Garcia versus Jesse Vargas uh, showdown from yesterday. I'm sorry I've been, uh, you know, BSing a little bit on my grind. Need to get back on my boxing grind like how I've been, you know. But uh, trying to put out more prediction videos and more post fight reaction videos and uh, live commentary, you know. And stay away from all the other garbage for the most part. But uh, if you want to, if you want to uh, donate to the channel, the link will be in the description box, Cash App link. So uh, please do that. You know, it's right there in the description box. That'd be cool. And share, share the video. Share always. Is sharing is caring, man. That's another way to donate to the channel. Is share, share the video. Um, hit the like button and subscribe always, man. But um, uh, like I said, man, real quick, salute to uh, Mikey Garcia for coming off a tough L to. Earl Spence and, and getting right back in the ring with, with a tough opponent as in Jesse Vargas. Jesse Vargas ain't the type of guy you just hop back into the ring with off of an L even though he's not a big puncher you know you know but still he can make a tough outing for you and uh Mikey you know he prevailed he got through the pad you know he passed the test you know for the most part but I had this fight pretty much kind of like how I predicted it but we're going to tell you the difference than what I predicted and uh and how the, the the fight you know actually played out but uh it was a, it was a decent fight man decent fight you know i had jesse vargas coming out in the first uh early round let me say about the first four rounds uh up on mikey you know 10 off on mikey doing good body work mixing it up hooks to the body jabs to the body jabs up top and we all know mikey is a slow starter man very slow starter you know, he's going to sit there and compute you, you know, for for rounds. He's going to process everything you do for rounds and rounds. He's not going to blink an eye, move his head. He's going to just, you know, come come uh, forward and, and compute you and, and, and get your timing down and time you and, 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 and try to break you down with a, with a combination of his power and, and his timing. And that's how Mikey systematically gets you out, uh, breaks you down, and, and, and get the victory of you. But anyway, like I said, I had Jesse Vargas win the first four rounds, man. Um, and then in the fifth round, man, uh, Mikey Garcia, like I said, he just locked in on Jesse and caught Jesse with a with a right hand, man. And uh, Jesse, you know, you can always tell when Mikey hurt you. And, and, you know, you, you can always tell because these guys all had the same body language. You know, when you hit these guys, you know, they, uh, they, 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 uh, when he throw when he, when he faints or throws at him again with a right hand, it's the way they overreact. They, they overreact a little bit too much. And you can always tell he did it with, like, even in the Broner fight, uh, Easter fight, uh, even the, like Vargas, you know, last night that fight as well, you know, same same result. And you know, it's weird because it's like, you know, Mikey is just a, a straight up and down dude. You know, he throws the same punches over and over again. One, two, three. You know, he'll throw uppercut in there every now and then, throw some hooks to the body. But Mikey don't do nothing too much special, man. He, you know, he don't move his head. He he blocks with his hands and you know parry punches for the most part, and uh, but he got some uh, he got some 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 like I said his his power and his timing will really gets people, cause a lot of people know you know the the punches that that you get caught with that hurt the most, that get you in, in bad troubles when you throwing punches you know and um, Mikey he'll take a few of them to get your timing down to know to lock in on you and throw his shot. He's going he gonna to drive his shot no matter what. So a guy like Mikey, man, you definitely, definitely got to, uh, you definitely got to be uh, careful how you how you put your combinations together on Mikey, you know, for the most part. But uh, Jesse was doing a pretty good job, you know, just didn't have a pop to keep Mikey up off of him. Uh, Mikey, you know, uh, was coming forward pretty much all night. And after the fifth round, you know, Jesse Jesse was in retreat mode for for about two rounds, you know. And, it, and like I said, it, it, it's like when he hits you, it's like a uh, on a video game where your power and your stamina, you know, you got the power bar and the stamina bar. It's like when Mikey hits you, 
it's like your your power will go from uh a hundred to like thirty or twenty five and it's like kind of blinking or you know what I mean it kind of like wear you down then you be kind of like on panic mode for a minute. That's what it seems like how these guys be acting you know, but you could tell when you when you when you see him throwing those shots still those are hard shots that he's throwing you know make no mistake about it but uh I thought that that jesse you know uh he he every time he would get hit after the fifth round with those right hands it kind of you know took his took took some out of him you know he was he was he was getting hurt quite often you know if if Mikey had the stamina to get the uh, if he had the stamina he probably he could have stopped Jesse probably could have knocked him out you know the way he caught him with that right hand man that was a good right hand but Jesse was definitely getting some good success on Mikey still you know uh after the knockdown it's just that you know he he was his, he was throwing too many punches to land one and he don't already don't punch that hard as well you know I think that uh, Jesse should have been trying to push Mikey back a little bit more, you know, which is he had a hard time pretty much doing that. He was kind of, you know, um, it was, I mean, he wasn't just on his back foot all night. You know, he was in the center of the ring, you know, but he just wasn't aggressive enough. You know, he, he didn't have, like I said, Mikey, Mikey didn't respect his pop. That's basically what it was. He respected it, but it wasn't enough to, like, you know, get Mikey on his back foot. But one thing I've been noticing about Mikey, Mikey is a uh, Mikey's like an eight round fighter, man. That's what I do notice about Mikey Garcia. He's an eight round fighter. After about the eighth round, he started getting super duper tired, and he start uh, fading his. You know, he don't he, he don't have the same uh, mojo on his punches when, around about the eighth ninth on, on out. You know, you tell he start getting sluggish. He slows down, and uh. Yeah, that that could come back to haunt Mikey later on, you know, when he gets in there with another elite guy, you know. But uh, as far as like Mikey at 147, I mean, he he could stay at 147. I mean, I would have rather seen him at like 135 or 140, but you know, it is what it is. I think he could he could hold his own at 147. You know, it just depends on who we end up with. But the thing about Mikey Garcia is he willing to get in there with any of them for the most part, from what it seemed like. You know, uh, said he wanted to rematch with Earl Spence. He wants the Pacquiao fight. I believe the Pacquiao fight is up on the next um, for uh, Mikey Garcia. But um, you know, I, I really I, this is what I really wanted to see. I want to see him and Danny fight. I think him and Danny would be a good fight, and I wanted Earl and Manny Pacquiao to fight. If but. Apparently, Earl turned the fight down because uh, out of the car wreck, whatever the case may be. I don't know. But on the flip side, if, you know, him and Danny lose, just say if him, if him and Danny lose, I'm not saying they're going to lose, but they can still meet up again, you know, you know, whatever, however, whatever, I don't know. But that's if, you know, both guys agree. But uh, apparently, uh, Mikey turned down the Danny fight, apparently. I don't know, but Dan all these, these dudes be lying, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't even really care, man. I just want to see these dudes fight. But um, like I said, though, man, it was a, it was a, a decent fight, man. Uh, Jesse Vargas didn't didn't throw in the towel. He stayed fighting hard, you know, uh, giving it his all, man. That's one thing about Jesse. He ain't gonna shortchange you in that ring. He gonna give it to you all, man. He gonna give you his best. But uh, he just came up short again, like you know, quite a few times in his career. Came up short. You know, uh, didn't do enough for the refs. You know, it was a close. This fight was closer than with, with the refs score to that one fifteen, one eleven, or one sixteen. I thought that was a little far. I thought that was a little far. I don't think it was a, a unanimous decision. I want to say I, I, I kind of want to probably say maybe. <sighs> kind of could have been a split decision, man, because because Jesse still did win a. Uh, you know, like a, a round in that the second half of the fight. He won like a round, maybe. I mean, because it was with the knockdowns. It's like the way Mikey hit you and hurt you, it, it, it just makes the, it, it makes it seem like that, I don't know, the way he was hitting Jesse and hurting him, when he was hurting him, it just seemed like, you know, it just, it, just the whole, the, 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 the whole, uh, 
the way it played out just made it seem like you know the the, the the drama to it just made it seem like it was just and the effect seemed like it was just more to it than what Mikey actually did in that round you know because Mikey was losing a lot of the, in the rounds you know to be honest with you in between those rounds he was losing a lot of those those rounds during the rounds it's just that when uh Vargas was throwing a lot of punches his connect percentage wasn't high and when Mikey would catch Vargas it would, it would hurt him so bad to where you know he'd be in super retreat mode and and, and, and you know it sways the judges and and whoever else that way to to think that you know that the fight is more dominant than what it was but at the end of the 12th round as you see Jesse Vargas clock Mikey with a good right hand you know uh like I said if, if Jesse had a little bit more pop on his punches man uh, this fight would have been, uh, he might could have sat Mikey down and made him, uh, pushed him back a little bit more and made the fight a little bit more, more gamey. It was a game fight, but it was, you know, it was, it was cool. It was cool. But y'all let me know what y'all think. This your boy JB, Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel. Like, share the video always. And also, man, like I said, if you want to uh, donate to the channel, the link is in the description box. Hit the notification icon bell for the uh, jab session. Peace.